Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. We're going to use the uh, double combo deck of the Psychic Tarot for the Heart and the Wisdom of the Oracle. Uh, I've already pulled all 10 cards for a self to cross spread and we will clarify each of those 10 cards using the uh, This Might Hurt Tarot in just a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to start with what I see on the table. And we'll move from there. So thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We start off the reading with all that glitters in the current moment, which is an energy here of something that you desire, something that seems desirable, uh, fulfilling, yet it may not be so much that that's the case. Uh, it's next to... The community card, which is kind of like my soul tribe card, you know, the family, a family card, even if it's just chosen family. Um, so it's almost as if there's something that you really want to make work uh, in your friend circle, your family, your your workplace, your community. If you really value certain people in these dynamics. Uh, but it's hard to find balance between the different relationships is what I'm getting. Because representing you, we have loyal heart when it's reversed here. And in the future, we have the love card, which is upright, the lovers. So I, I feel like there might be multiple relationships here. Maybe a relationship with one person and then a relationship with another that seem to be in competition with each other or... Um, it, it maybe it almost feels like a betrayal to be with one person and still be connected to another. Um, I think this deeply frustrates you, Pisces, because um, you may not believe that this has to be this way. Um, we've got clarity of belief here, which is the Ace of Swords reversed in the past. So... Um, I heard it's all about setting expectations and um, from the beginning is what I'm hearing. And you may have a lot of confidence in making this all work, you know, making all of your relationships harmonious, but it seems to be that it's hard to balance how much effort you put towards one relationship and how much effort you put towards another with this effort card reversed. So um, you may actually be moving more in the direction of one relationship dynamic and moving away from the direction of another. And uh, this is just the natural way, progression of your situation. This is how you're going to find balance. You may actually realize that um, your perfect ideal picture of everything and everybody working together isn't realistic with this all that glitters uh, card here. Um, you have to tap into your intuition here with the listen card being the outcome and uh, really listen to what it is that people are saying they need in these relationship dynamics. Listen to how their energy makes you feel and realize that there may be more growth, there may be more enthusiasm, more confidence, and more um, understanding between you and an individual than there is between you and, and another individual. It's, you know, it, it, there's multiple partnerships here clashing with each other. Um, <clears throat> I know this because we have the, the two partnership cards here. And then we also have this three. The solar plexus energy is a card number three in the environment position. So the only way that this could all work is if everybody had the right level of confidence in themselves and in the relationships that they have with you and with each other. Um, but someone here is feeling helpless and hopeless um, and is forcing you to decide which direction to go in to, um, you know, one way or the other way, my way or the highway, so to speak. Um, 
So let's clarify and go a little bit deeper with the tarot. Clarifying the All That Glitters card is the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Clarifying the Community card is the Page of Pentacles. This could be a workplace dynamic. This could be a, a school dynamic or a dynamic between children or a parent and child. <clears throat> you could be dealing with someone who's younger than you or... Um, you know, with all that glitters, there's a sense of codependency here uh, with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, like a, a lack of independence. So we'll clarify that a little bit more deeply before we move forward. We have the Chariot card, which is hyper-independent. So um, I do feel like you're moving out of codependency and needing to have all your relationships work in a specific way, Pisces. Um that in itself is codependent, you know? <clears throat> the chariot will leave certain things and certain people and ideas in the dust. You know, it's all about um, who's working the best, who's working the most efficiently with the chariot card being here. Clarifying the dedicated effort reverse, we have the Five of Swords reverse. So it's no matter how much effort you put into your relationship dynamics here, Pisces, not everybody's going to be pleased with the outcome. And um, clarifying the balance card, we have the Devil here. So by you trying to balance all these situations, I'm sure you're doing a great job, Pisces, but other people are not happy with it. It's creating negativity. And it may even cast you as being trying to be a little bit uncontrolling in this dynamic. Um, I don't believe that's necessarily how you want to perceive yourself either as being controlling. Um, and you don't have to, you know, with awareness, Pisces, of how this situation may be creating tension instead of actually keeping people, you know, happy and satisfied. If the you know you might be able to change the dynamic or kind of go with the flow here. We have the moon card here in the past clarifying the ace of swords reverse, the clarity and belief card. So um the moon can talk about illusions, fears, misconceptions, with the ace of swords being there. Um a warped reality. Let's clarify that. We have the Hermit here. Pisces, you may naturally be inclined to Hermit mode. And um, when people come towards your light, here we have the Lantern in the Hermit card, and we have the Light of the Moon clarifying this. Uh, when people come towards your light, you may be feeling very protective of those people or very maybe even a little bit possessive of those people because you want to, you know, maintain those relationships. You want to uh, not, not lose that spark that keeps everybody together. But um, there's something here about just because you have confidence in making something work doesn't mean everybody else has the confidence to make something work when it comes to teamwork here or sharing. Um, I want to say in this situation, the specific situation that we're talking about, that sharing is not always caring. You know, it may be in this context a little bit... Uh, codependent or toxic, you know. Here we have the Three of Cups with the Lover's card in the future. So this is when things are going really great, when you may be dating somebody or um, really good friends. You know, you've got, you're surrounded by great friends. And um, clarifying the Loyal Heart reverse is the Three of Pentacles reverse. We've got all kinds of threes here all of a sudden. So, um... The Three of Pentacles reverse is when you're feeling ignored. 
when you're not when you're when you're not passionate about the the connection in this case, um, where there's where it feels like work. So we've got one relationship clarified by the three cups, which feels abundant, positive, celebratory. Then we have another relationship here that feels like a lot of work. Um, and uh, let's clarify that card again. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's highs and lows. There's unpredictability. There's uh, <clears throat> hot and cold type energy. Clarifying the environment position with the solar plexus is the Empress. Hmm. The Empress talks about abundance, and you may be experiencing or may be desiring an abundance in your relationships. Um, we'll clarify the Empress card. We have the High Priestess coming out. Interesting. The Empress and the High Priestess can actually talk about the story of Persephone, you know, the goddess of the underworld, who in the beginning was the goddess of the springtime or summertime energies. And uh, she brought she brought new growth coming out of the wintertime in Greek mythology. And the, the, the god of the underworld, Hades, or Pluto, came up and captured Persephone and forced her to marry him. So the story goes. Um, so I, I may, I'm not sure what part of that story resonates with this reading. Like may, there's the devil card here. There's the moon card. There's the high priestess. So there is an underworld type of element to this reading where, um, some of the relationship dynamics are a little bit forced or, um, based off of codependency or selfishness, um, even if there is love, even if there is abundance, even if there are good times as well, eventually you're going to be moving in a direction where you're going to want to accomplish certain goals and dreams. And that's when this whole situation will truly not work out, you know? Or maybe one of your people gets those goals and dreams. So we have the Queen of Wands reversed here with the Helpless and Hopeless card. Someone in this dynamic, you know, the person perhaps who you've been, who feels like it's a lot more work to deal with this person and there's highs and lows, they, they don't feel inspired in this relationship dynamic. They don't feel uh, desired as well. They feel... Um, dispensable second place we've got the queen of swords reverse with the listen card the high priestess card as the outcome so um the queen of swords can talk about cutting things off i wouldn't be surprised excuse me if your person or you are are inclined to cut one of these you know relationship dynamics off whether it's friendship workplace or even multiple lover type of dynamics here um and uh it comes down to like what what vibe are you putting off pisces are you putting off a vibe of celebration and inclusivity with all the people involved? Or does your vibe sometimes um, get weighed down by responsibility, by having to put in, like, you know, feeling like you are procrastinating or neglecting something or someone? Does it feel like there's highs and lows or it's not as easy to balance specific relationship dynamics? Well, um, <clears throat> You may have this ideal perspective that you can make everything work, but ultimately some people are getting hurt. So, um, 
I don't know if this reading is asking you to do anything about the situation or not. I think it just might be an awareness type of reading where um, it may explain why certain relationships kind of fall off into the, you know, off to the side and, and don't really get picked back up again or something like that. Okay, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon.